Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Yawk. Due to the interesting results of my last game, where one character became a demon lord, and the other a steroid abuser, I've decided to give this game one more run and see what I end up getting. So this time we have the funny blue hat character and the other hat character for, you know, double hat power. You look kind of mage-like, so I'm just going to do the obvious thing and do this and hopefully we don't end up with another demon lord. I best steal that recipe and take credit. Hmm. This sounds like it could go on to be bad. But we'll let the zombie horde come out. Two days later, the town was destroyed by the zombie ferret horde. Let's go and uh, go hunting with you. Hundreds of footsteps, huh? Orcs! I didn't even know they existed in this world. Oh, my charm is pretty bad. Perhaps they were nice orcs and I could have just talked to them and found out they were here to deliver cakes to everyone. Let's see what cleaning a lamp does. Okay, you get a little bit of magic, you get a little bit of physique, and you gain some wealth. Ah, uh, the best magic. Party magic. Um... Yeah, the Fantasia trick. Pretty swag. Things are going really well for us. So the other guy was Batman. I'd call this guy, uh... I guess you can be Green Lantern. Weird stones laid out in an odd way. Ancient aliens? Quite possible. One of these improved my mind. I forgot which one. Meditate probably does. Yep. An enchanted prince. Oh my god, a talking frog! Oh. We'll kiss it and probably get warts and things will go downhill from here. Oh my god, it actually worked. You'll get a total of two wealth. Thank you for saving me from this evil frog curse. Here's two coins for all your effort. Oh, no happy ending aside from that? That's kind of disappointing. I believe there was another option in the palace, but I think that was administrative. I haven't tried pickpocketing. 
fight crime, then commit it. Creating a crime-fighting economy. Here, kid. Let's be Robin Hood for the night. Well, things are just working out for all our characters this time. Let's do some administration work. Cool. It's not the frog prince? Damn. Not only did we save a frog prince, he becomes a new king and then gives us more wealth. Things... things are just looking up. It just... I feel so positive. I think he needs some charm. He's already pretty... F strong. I wonder if bartending increases charm. Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, a good bar fight. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Stop. I think we need to raise our magic some more. Just so it goes over 10, I, I'd prefer that. Oh no. Drink it. Oh my god. Let's do something crazy and dumb. Oh no. Well, this fire screwed out my insides. But it was a learning experience and we know never to breathe fire again unless you're a dragon. And this is that one of it we saw earlier. And let's see if our charm will help us. Yeah, see, he's a little more charming, he's not crazy and full of magic, so it's a little bit better. And we're also getting rich. And we have no nothing to spend our money on. For our final day, let's attend a ball. We've got to be fabulous before a disaster happens. Damn. This is some min-max stats here. I believe we should go chop some wood. Oh, 
Alright, our mage needs to be something. Last time we summoned a demon army. But I have confidence this time. We also could probably be a leader. Nah, demon army. I don't think you have enough charm to be a leader, but you got a lot of physique and finesse. And we'll make you a builder. Any other person considered supplies, you can build. It was a struggle, but a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will visit us again? Who knows if we'll ever be, can ever be, ready for it. I'm not sure if that's the best ending, but it's pretty positive. He came so pro at killing rabbits. So things turned out pretty well this time. No demon armies and no steroid overdose. Essentially, we became the builders of this new town. And then our one character went off into the astral realm where everyone has small eyes and the other one became some kind of crazy, obsessed with a blue fox. If you know what I mean. Anyway, I think I'm pretty much done with this game. So, thank you all for watching me play the Yogg. I'll see you guys later. Take it easy.